Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I have an extra special video for you. So Audrey Yeager, who um, is an amazing scrapbooker here on YouTube, does a collab. So she does a summer one and a Christmas one and this is part of the summer, so summer scrapping 2018. So there are some really talented ladies that have all teamed up to do a almost like a youtube hop um so there's a different lady every day and um today is my day so i am on day 20 um of the summer scrapping challenge and um following me um we have two more ladies to go um i think there's um lisa kingston's actually up with me today as well so i'm going to link all of the ladies channels in the comments uh, down below so make sure you head over and have a look at what they have created so just whilst i'm chatting away because audrey is uh one of my american scrapbooking friends i decided that i wanted to use this star paper it just reminded me of the the stars on the american flag however i needed to um, white out the middle bit because what i'm going to do is create a frame and I'm going to fill that frame with a whole load of different ephemera, puffy stickers, stickers. And um, it would just get lost on the background because it is patterned. So I'm just drawing myself a, a rough frame to know where my white frame is going to sit. And I'm just adding, this is just white acrylic paint. Now it did buckle the paper so ideally what I should have done is just use some white gesso um, instead but I thought I'd get away with this with just a thin coat but to be honest it's fine it it's got a slight buckle in it it's not massively going to bother me so I'm just spreading that rather thin and just making sure that I'm only going to go up to the lines where I've indicated so I know that my white border when I put that back down is going to frame that nicely. Now I want a bit of depth on this so I'm just adding some foam adhesive onto the back of the white frame. So that white frame there is just a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and I've cut an inch off of each side and then I've cut it at roughly an inch all the way around and I've just used my Fiskars trimmer as you would have seen just earlier on in the video to do that. So I'm just pulling off the adhesive backing here. Now there's something quite satisfying about pulling the adhesive backing off of the foam tape. Quite enjoy it. So I'm just sticking that down. And you'll see there that I've got the darker blue around the edge. And then I've got the lighter blue um, with the aid of the white acrylic paint. And this photograph here was taken oh 15 years ago and it's it's one of those ones that have been hanging around in my stash that needed scrapping for a long long time and this was the perfect challenge to get it used up so i'm just using this photo play six by six pad and i just need something with a lot of color in to back my photo i've already backed it onto some white cardstock as i do on most of my layouts and i'm just going to add in this stripey rainbowy pattern as a paper layer. I'm only going to add one paper layer because I know that the actual layout's going to be quite busy with the embellishments. So I pulled out of my stash a whole load of random different summer themed things and I'm really a creature of, of habits in terms of the um, I tend to stick to a collection when I'm scrapbooking um, but I just went for it with this one. So these pieces of ephemera that you can see here, um, they came out last year and I can't even remember what collection they were from, um, to be honest. And um, yeah, they've just been sort of floating around, not really doing anything. I thought it'd be perfect to, to get them used up on here. Now I have marked off where my photo is going to go, so I don't end up sort of using that wasted space um, by losing stickers and, and that sort of thing. So you'll see here just all that product that I've pulled there. Um, so this is a sticker sheet from Echo Park. Um, the pattern paper actually, the, the blue pattern paper with the white stars is um, called, it's from Bow Bunny from the Boardwalk collection. 
and it's, it's an older paper and it's just a single um, sheet that I've got in my stash and it was great to get that used up as well. So you'll see here I'm just going to mix um, different embellishments over my page. I am using wet glue because I am sticking it onto the white paint or the painted background. And then in come the puffy stickers and I'm making sure that I'm sort of popping them up just underneath the frame so it looks like I've laid them down and then put the frame on top and I'm just using my drinks cup there just to stick that one down and I just use a random amount of different embellishments um, different colors and this is great because summer to me always screams color so I wasn't too concerned about how many colours I was going to use on this. It was just a case of pulling bits from um, sticker sheets and chipboard and that sort of thing and just getting them stuck down. Now, because this photograph is of um, our a couple of our friends outside the ice cream van, I decided to use up as many ice cream and ice lolly stickers and embellishments that I could find. Um, because they will just be those random embellishments that never really make it onto a layout. So I'm just going through different bits and bobs from sort of half bits that I've got left over from other collections and kits. And I'm bringing in sunglasses and pineapples and suns and what else do I bring in here? A little tree, a little um, palm tree and a... Um, oh, some more suns as well. And I'm not too worried about repeating embellishments. No one's going to notice. So I tried to, or the sensible thing would have been for me to get the bigger pieces of ephemera down. But I got a bit distracted and I started sticking the smaller bits down. And then I ended up having to move a few bits. And um, it all turns out okay in the end. Um, I'm really pleased with how this um, how this layout came about and it's one of those ones where because I've used up so many random bits of um, stickers and um, ephemera that probably wouldn't generally get used um, I feel accomplished and since we are coming to the end of summer anyway um, we are coming into into autumn here in the UK we will we will be next month and we um uh, probably not being in the mood to scrap any summer themed photos and be gearing up towards um, scrapping Christmas and December daily and all those all those good things so yeah getting sort of one of the last scrapbook layouts of of summer done and there's another random little ice cream sticker that I found as well now I'd be interested so um in your country do you have ice cream vans because it's something that's um, quite known in the UK. So you sort of hear the ice cream van music playing and then the ice cream van turns up. But it does make me wonder whether other countries have ice cream vans as well. Whether it's something that's quite unique to the UK. I don't actually know. Um, so if you have an ice cream van, please educate me and leave me a comment down below and let me know um, if, um, if you have the same as us. And also this layout, you'll see the title coming up shortly. The title is Mines a 99, please. So again, I don't know whether 99 is just a UK thing, uh, but 99 to us here is a, um, a whippy vanilla ice cream with generally with a flake um, stick in it. So do you have 99s? in your country as well oh it's making me want ice cream now looking at this looking at this layout so i've used um some stickers there these are little tiny word stickers from simple stories and there's some great little summer sentiments on there and i'm just bringing those in just to bring a, um, a pop of white into the middle part we've got the stark white around the outside and I just wanted to bring a bit more white into the centre part of the layout. And I'm loving how this is looking. Now I'm going to stick this photo down. So I'm just going to add some... Oh, and then I remembered that little puffy cloud that I'd, um, 
I'd pulled out. I'm just going to use some foam adhesive just to bump up part of my photo and then the rest of it is going to sit on the um, frame which is already on the foam tape anyway. So I'm just going to stick that down and I want it to look like the embellishments are um, tucked underneath the photo. So I'm just getting that lined up. And there's that little ice cream truck sticker as well that I found which went perfectly with this. So I've got these rainbow thickers and I think they were from a collection last year and I don't actually know um, which collection they were from. Um, but these are perfect for summer layouts. So as I said, my title is going to be Mine's A99. Now I am currently doing, if you haven't seen, I'm currently doing a um, an alpha series i finished off my six by six series a couple of weeks ago so my alpha series is currently running and i'm giving you lots of ideas as to how to use up your alpha stickers you'll see a couple in here as well i turned a six upside down to make a nine and i turned a, th uh, a three upside down to make an e so if you want more ideas like that um, to use up your alpha stickers then uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel um, for 20 videos of um, different ideas on how to use your thickers. So I wanted a splash of black. So I just grabbed some black ink and a paintbrush and I splashed it um, in a diagonal and then just up in that top right hand corner. And this is the layout finished. So I just wish to um, thank Audrey Yeager for inviting me along to partake in this summer scrapping challenge. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave any comments down below and I'll see you all again really, really soon. Take care. Bye.